Hey guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony XO. How are you guys doing today? Hope everybody is doing well. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle, and please hit that subscribe button and be part of our Lashes Tony XO family. We would love, love to have you here. And you can hit that notification bell as well. Today's video, I'm really, really excited about. Um, I did a poll on Instagram, and you guys wanted me to do this one. So, this is actually, um, it was created by, um, it was created by Emily Noel. Emily Noel. So, she created this tag. And it's called, What's in My Thousand Dollar Sephora Fantasy Basket. And it's really cool because, fun fact, I got to do this. Um, I think it was about three years ago. I will try to link that video down below for you guys if you want to check it out. Um, about three years ago, my husband gave me a thousand dollars and said, buy whatever you want at Sephora. And I was just like a kid in a freaking candy store, guys. I was just like, oh my gosh. So I got my little basket and I picked out everything that was new at the time. This was, like I said, about three years ago, I think. And if I can find that video, I will definitely link it for you guys. Um, but it was so, so much fun. But obviously that was a once in a lifetime opportunity that does not happen all the time i promise um basically what i did was i went on my little sephora app that i have on my phone and i just like thought of everything i'm sure there's things i'm forgetting but i thought of like most of the things that i have not purchased that i would really 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 love to have and it my total came out to be one thousand three dollars and twenty cents so i went over by three dollars and twenty cents but you guys it was either that or take something off and be like thirty dollars short so i was like we'll go three dollars and twenty cents over so are you ready to see what i want okay i'm excited about this this is very fun um okay so the first one I have on here is the Pat McGrath Labs. Now, this is her um, Divine Rose collection. Um, this is the first one. She has two. So, the first one is the Divine Rose collection. It's $125, you guys. What? It's definitely a fantasy palette. I don't know if I would... Well, I guess I would. I guess I would ask for it like for Christmas, or for my birthday, Mother's Day, stuff like that. But it's not a palette I would normally just pick up, you know, just any old time. You know, it would have to be a special occasion. So, this is definitely a fantasy palette. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll pop it on the screen for you guys to check out if you haven't seen it, which I'm sure you have. Um, but that is definitely in my fantasy basket. And I feel like I have a frog in my throat, so I might have to get me a drink. The next one is um, a perfume, which I've had my eye on for a little while. This is the Tom Ford. And now, I think you pronounce it um, Soleil Blanc. I could be totally wrong on that. So, forgive me if I butchered that name. Um, but, yeah, I saw... <clears throat> what is her name um stephanie she goes by s ml or something i don't know xo i don't know but <laughs> she has like a million subscribers million plus subscribers and she was talking about this perfume and the way she described it i think she said <laughs> the way she described it she said picture a rich bitch at the beach and i was like i gotta have that perfume i gotta have the perfume um but again this is my fantasy self this is my fantasy self so would i purchase it like i said i might ask ask for it for christmas or birthday or something like that but 
just for a one ounce bottle, you guys, it's $90. What? $90 for just one ounce. So, okay. Definitely a fantasy product. Um, the next one, not a fantasy product, but I just added it to my wish list. Um, I've been wanting to try the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer. I have combo skin, so I don't want anything like too, too, too hydrating, um, or that would make me too, too oily, but I've heard a lot of people with oily or combo skin really, really love this product, so I have my eye on this to try it. I love trying out different moisturizers, um, so that is on my wish list. All right, so I have 16 items in my basket, if I did not say that earlier. So, again, Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer. <clears throat> Next one. The, another Pat McGrath Labs palette. Now, this one is the Divine Rose 2 collection. So, I was like, what the hell? This is a fantasy. Okay, this is a fantasy. I'm going to get two Pat McGrath palettes, okay? It's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. So, um, again, $125 for that one. So, for just those two palettes, we're talking $250. Bucks. Whoa, whoa. I know, right? All right, the next one, again, I heard, um, I've been like binge watching Stephanie. I do not know her last name, but again, I think it's S M S M X O or something like that. I don't know. Um, but she raved about this product. So this is the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. Now she is darker than me. She does have a very beautiful tan all the time. Um, but it has different, four different shades, and it did win, like, a Laura Beauty Award. So, I really do love the Dior Backstage Highlighting Palette. So, if you've ever wanted to try that, I highly recommend that one. It's really beautiful. Um, so, I thought I would probably like the Contour Palette. So, it's $45 for the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. Except I might get that one. I don't know. Um, my real self might get that one, but my fantasy, my fantasy self totally got it. Okay. This is the new bronze face glow palette. Now I do own the Natasha Denona bronze eyeshadow palette. I just haven't, um, did a look with that yet on my channel, but that is coming up guys. I promise. Um, I think I'm going to do like a summer glow and then do that palette but i picked the natasha denona bronze face glow palette i thought about picking this up recently but i was like mm, i don't know it's 55 dollars so i put that in my fantasy basket um the next one another natasha denona product lip gloss the lip Aferia lip gloss um, I think that's the way you said. And I saw Samantha March talk about this color in caramel. And we have about the same, uh, like skin tone, blonde hair. She has green eyes. I have blue eyes. But it looks really pretty on her. And I really do. I, I love a dark nude. I really do love like a medium to dark nude. So, I want, I want the caramel color. That's the one that I'm eyeing. So, and I usually am not a gloss person, but this gloss has like pigment, like a lot of pigment in it. So, I was like, okay, I'll put that in my fantasy basket. Um, the next one, I have another perfume. Um, this is the Sol de Janeiro perfume for $78. Now, I did purchase this for my mother, but I have not bought it for myself. So, my fantasy self wants it in my fantasy, fantasy basket. <laughs> um, okay, this is another blush that I saw Stephanie talk about. Um, and if I talk about anybody, I will link them down below. And I will also uh, link all my fantasy products 
in my fantasy basket down below. I, I'll link all 16 products down below. Um, it'll say products mentioned and then I'll also it'll say creators mentioned and whoever I talk about if you don't know their channel and you want to check them out then I'll do that as well. Okay so I saw Stephanie talk about this. This is the Jouer Cosmetics Blush Boutique Boutique. What? Blush Bouquet Dual Blush Palette in the color Passion. Um, we have a lot of like similar tastes as far as I'm a blushaholic. She's a blushaholic. She loves like those She's not afraid of blush. Like, she goes ham on her blush. And I go ham on my blushes, too. So, um, she had, sw I think, swatched it or she was wearing it. And, again, the color Passion, I really want that one, okay? It's $30 for a blush. You do get two blushes, but still, $30 for a blush. You know, definitely fantasy. Um, another Sol de Janeiro product. This is new, so I haven't got to pick it up yet. This is the, um, Bum Bum Boom Boom. Is it the Boom Boom or the Bum Bum? You guys know. The Body Scrub. Ooh, I really want that. Um, I love a good scrub. I love the smell of that cream. Um, I love, that's why I want the perfume, but I figured the scrub would be amazing because I like to do a lot of self tanning and when you're trying to take that off, you really have to scrub that off and I could just imagine that this smells amazing and it's a really good scrub. This is $42. Okay. Another product, I've had my on this product for a very, very, very long time. Um, since it came out, but I just never, I guess because I have combo skin, I just never bit the bullet on this. Now, I did buy it for a giveaway, I think last year. I bought it for a giveaway, but I just haven't picked it up. So, I definitely, I would love to pick it up, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, it's $44. It looks beautiful. It gives you that glow, but I do have a lot of drugstore ones that kind of do the same thing. And I guess that's why I've never splurged on this one because I'm like, well, what, what if I don't absolutely love it? You know, and dr drugstore has come such a long way that you can buy these things at the drugstore, but this is the fantasy. So let's talk high end, right? Let's talk high end stuff. Um, okay, the next thing, Glow Recipe. I love me some Glow Recipe. I have some Glow, Reci Glow Recipe products. Um, but I have my eye on the um, Glowopedia Bouncy Skin Set for $90. Because it comes with a setting spray, which I have not tried. Um, it comes with the Banana Moisturizer, which I, I really want to try that one. It comes with the, I think it comes with that toner, that watermelon toner. Is it watermelon? I think. That everybody's raving about. Um, and I think it comes with a lip balm, watermelon lip balm, and then the avocado retinol cream for your eyes, I think. So, it's like just my fantasy skincare set. I just really want that. $90, but you get a lot of good stuff, so I don't know. Have my on that. Um, the Natasha Denona Mini Retro, you guys. This keeps going in stock, out of stock, in stock, out of stock. That's why it's a fantasy, because I'm never going to get my hands on it. Ugh! It's $25, but like I said, every time I go to purchase it, it's sold out. Like, what? What are you doing to me, people? Who are the people buying this? I mean, it's so frustrating. So, it's definitely a fantasy. It's a fantasy for me to own that because I'm just never going to own it. Um, and the next product. Urban Decay per Perversion Waterproof Liquid Liner. I heard, um, who was it talking about this? Bay, and she said that this was her favorite liquid liner and I am in the market for a really good 
easy to use black liner because I used to be, I was probably the only person in the world who loved the Benefit, that weird one. But I swear you guys, I got the perfect flick and it looks so good. And I cannot find an eyeliner that I love as much as that Benefit one. I don't even know if they, I think they discontinued that because nobody loved it. I loved it. But anyway, I'm on the I'm on the hunt for a new eyeliner. If you know of one, let me know. But she was saying this was super intensely, it's like a really dark, deep black color. It like stays on all day. You can get a really good flick with it. So I have my eye on that one. Another product is the Lawless Make Me Blush Talc Free Velvet Blush in phoenix oh my gosh this color looks like it is right up my alley it looks so perfect and they're selling out like hotcakes you guys it is 29 dollars. i'm probably gonna get this this weekend because i don't want it to sell out i want that flawless blush in phoenix before it sells out it's 29 dollars I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, you guys. I'm gonna do it. I gotta get that. Um, and I, I don't know if I told you, but the Urban Decay Eyeline Liquid Liner is 22. Um, and last but not least, the 16th product is the Hourglass Veil Setting Spray. Forty-eight dollars for a setting spray. What? What? Oh my gosh! Are they serious? But I really, my fantasy self wants it, so I put it in my fantasy basket. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this fun tag. I tag you guys, or leave in the comments, name one fantasy product that you would have in your basket. That would be fun for me to read the comments. So leave one fantasy product that you would have in your fantasy basket i would love to know if you guys enjoyed this tag please make sure to give me a thumbs up it helps my channel out and i would totally appreciate it don't forget if you're new to my channel welcome and please hit that subscribe button i would love to have you here hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye